Master Hung Yixiang, Master of Fighting Arts. He is famous for his knowledge of all Chinese systems, but in particular as a practitioner of one of the more difficult, Tai Chi. This park is in the center of Taipei, capital city of Taiwan. People have been here since about three o'clock in the morning. Three hours later, there are still people arriving and departing. All over the world, wherever there are Chinese communities, the same thing happens. They go to the park to exercise. Sometimes alone, sometimes as part of a group. And then their gossip mingles with the dawn chorus. For the Chinese, it is important to exercise where there are trees. Devotees of Tai Chi find a place and return to it perhaps every day of their lives to practice these exercises, which are also fighting techniques. This was not filmed in slow motion. Chinese legends say that before the world came into existence, there was energy. This energy divided into opposites, heaven and earth, hard and soft, yang and yin. These opposites are constantly flowing towards each other. They call this energy qi. They think it is still moving invisibly through the world, permeating everything that exists. This group is moving in accordance with this knowledge. For them, the air under trees in the dawn is very good because it is full of qi. It mingles with the qi in their bodies. <coughs> Master Hung goes to find qi under the trees on a riverbank. His wriggling fingers encourage qi to flow down his arm and across his body and into his other hand. <coughs> He leads a small group of friends in exercises designed to promote a long and healthy life. Some of the exercises look much the same as we're used to, but the purpose is usually different. Here, he's deep breathing, exercising the lower abdomen, but also concentrating qi in the center of his body, into a spot two inches below his navel. Exercises like these were first written down by a Chinese doctor about 2,000 years ago, and they have been used and developed ever since. Sometimes they have a special purpose. At one hospital in mainland China, cancer is treated by exercises of this kind. There are no vigorous movements, nothing which obviously exercises the muscles, body or heart. The aim is to calmly prepare the body for the day ahead, and especially to balance the qi within it. At about seven o'clock, this group has breakfast together. They have it beside the practice ground in a small Buddhist temple with a tea room attached. They drink many cups of tea and talk endlessly about the fighting arts. Master Hung is a person whose presence stimulates thinking. His own knowledge is profound. On ordinary subjects, he sits quietly allowing senior students to reply. But when the subject becomes complex, he joins in. On working days, they separate. But on other days, they often stay to practice fighting techniques. Master Hung lives in the old area of Taipei, a strongly traditional part of the city. Many people from all over the world have walked through the narrow streets to study with him. He doesn't accept every hopeful student who arrives, 
especially now that he has retired from full-time teaching. Danny Reed, a young American translator who works in Taipei, was determined enough to wait patiently in the traditional manner until the master would accept him. Danny is especially interested in the historical and philosophical background to the Chinese fighting arts. Like Howard Brewer, another American, he only speaks Mandarin, and Master Hung only speaks Taiwanese, so his second son translates. The subjects covered are difficult, especially the problem of understanding qi, or in Taiwanese, qi. Oh, qi. Until the idea of qi is accepted, it is impossible to understand much of Chinese thinking. It is of fundamental importance in their medical system and in fighting. The difficulty is to find ways of explaining it. The only real way is to do the exercises and to sense it in your body. Zhu Ming is a sculptor, well known in America. He uses the feeling of qi inside his body as a subject for his sculptures. He plans his work in polystyrene, then he carves huge rough wooden statues. Each statue freezes a position in the flowing exercise and gives the feeling of qi at that moment, the power that he feels inside his body. These ideas of the Chinese are very ancient. They are part of the Taoist philosophy of China first written down by Lao Tzu in the 3rd century BC. The China that he lived in was developing two main philosophies. One was Confucianism, which is basically the worship of ancestors and the established order of things. Opposed to it is Taoism, which teaches the need to live in harmony with natural things. Many Taoist philosophers went to live in the mountains to meditate. They were, however, very practical as well. They were the inventors, the men who developed gunpowder and many other things. They also developed the theories which harmonized the body with nature, applying these theories to medicine and to fighting. 